Hi, it's James here from the Sprinkle Donut Forge in Moscow, Texas. This Hi. is my wife. <laughs> Monica from Sister Donut Forge in Moscow, Texas. And, and we're, we're going to learn make, uh, how to make, make a, a hook. hook. <laughs> yeah, we're going to learn how to yeah. make a hook. <laughs> Let's do this. Steel's hot, so we'll adjust the camera and we'll see you in a minute. All right, let's get the steel out. Here's yours. Here's mine. <laughs> do what I do. Put them right next to mine. There you go. Flatten it out a little bit. Do it over here. Oh, the coming. Just like that. Hit that inside. your flat side. Make it flat. Not too flat though. Smooth. Stop. Rotate it up like this. Use what heat you got left. Only hit it where it's glowing. Now, take your time to make light hits and smooth it out and get it as square as possible. Okay. Take it long ways like this. Across the anvil and straighten it out. Put your piece of steel long ways and straighten it out. Here you go. Yeah. Good. Need to be reheated. Okay. It's glowing. Yep. Work along it. The hammer stays in the same spot. You pull the steel back with the hammer you're holding it with. Ah. Push it back and forth, and then you turn it and keep turning it and use the heat to make it into a square. Cool. And try to make the square the same by turning it around. You see if it's too fat, hit it in the high spots and knock it down. Yeah, it started bowing, so I had to. If you start getting too cold, just straighten what you got. And put it back in. Don't spend too much time on it. You got more forging to do. Now this all moves pretty quickly. Just cut a foam. Flatten. Ow. Turn. Square. Flatten. <laughs> turn. Square. Now you see what I did there? Yeah. Look. Mine's not looking as good. Good. You gotta make a point, but you gotta make it square first and draw it out. You're too cold. The fan and the anvil is the heat sink. Oh. So straighten what you got and put it back in. <laughs> Flatten. Quickly. Move the steel back and forth with your glove hand and rotate it. Make the hammer hit the same spot on the anvil every time. As best you can. It moves a little. <laughs> Keep rotating it until it's a very crude, bumpy shape of what you're trying to do. Draw it into a taper like this. Oh, well, yeah, mine's not a taper. Just hammer it until you're happy with it. You're learning this your first time. I'm having fun. Back in. <laughs> Come on. Same as before. Flatten it and make it sharper at the end on one plane and then turn it and try to equal that on the other by knocking it down. And only about this much of it. You're only concentrating on the last two and a half inches of it or three. Let's see what we got. Put it up here at the camera. Yeah, it's not pointing. Okay. Now that tells me that uh, you're swinging high enough, but you might require a heavier hammer. Uh, I swing very hard and I snatch the blow down like this. 
and I use the momentum of the hammer because I've practiced a lot of blacksmithing. So you might be better with a slightly heavier hammer um, to get the movement you're trying to get out of this piece of steel. So that's the one from Rob, Granddad's Forge. And it's a good feeling hammer. Okay. So let's put these back in, heat them up, and we'll see you in a minute. I'm going to finish mine while she works on hers. Come on. Oh, Look, you're squishing it from here. Look, start back here at the mass and push progressively forward. Oh. And flip it over and do that. You're pulling that steel back with your hand you're holding it with. And if you need to miss the strike, let it bounce off the anvil. Keep you in rhythm. Because the heat don't wait, it goes away pretty quick. No. You gotta knock that ball on the end down. Heat that ball up and work on it. Okay. Go. Oh. <laughs> knock that ball end down, make it smaller, and then flip it over and make it smaller the other way. And make it smaller the other way and keep flipping it. Some people use a one, two, one, two oh. flip. But I do it a few times, but you gotta flip it pretty often. Okay, and you see the ball moving into oh, the square Oh, it's starting again. to finally do something. Resisting? Yeah. You can work it cold a little, but you need to put it back in and get it warm again. Hey, it's starting to do something. And crank the fridge. Okay. Yep. Scoot it back. Yep. Good. <laughs> they win. There you go. Do what I do. You see that mark? Look, back it up, move it in that hole so you don't have to forge it and just rock it back and forth. Uh oh, mine's here. Go ahead. I didn't even see Spin it fast. I didn't even see my mark. <laughs> oh, mine's stuck. Oh, oh wow. Lay it like this. I know it's too cold, but I'm just trying to show you. Oh, hey, I did pretty good. I think. Oh. That'll work. Hey. I do mine and do yours. Okay. okay. Make it candy cane. Mm -hmm. And you can take it over the horn and rock this back while pulling. Pull on this. And then square it up again. I want it to be flat against the wall. This other mark is where you're going to start flattening it about this far so you can punch two holes in it. portion out. See what I'm doing. <laughs> Hit it hard. You got the same distance as it is. So you gotta hit it there. You're hitting it back here. There you go. Yeah. Wasn't hot enough. Uh, My fault. No. 
Don't wait for me. Stands up. Try to make the back flat with the wall. Oh, yeah. the hook. Don't worry about it. You can twist it later. Make a flat to punch two holes in. That's all you gotta do. You're done. Whew. Okay. <laughs> now. Oh wow, mine looks funny. <laughs> lay it like this on the anvil. Other way around. Oh. Crown up. Lay it long way. Get reposition. Nope. Where's that? What? It like that. Oh. And rest both sides on the anvil and hit, hit that down like this. Okay. Just gently. Oh. The heavy hammer makes it easier, so that's why I gave it to you. <laughs> there you go. Cool. And just take this one. All right. Got to punch some two holes in it. Yeah. So the next thing we're gonna do is gonna put a chain over them and center punch them. Cool. See you in a minute. <laughs> there we go. I think that's the hammer you need to use. Yep. Check it out. Hold it up close to the camera and flip it over. <laughs> the hammer I used. That works good. I love it. That's cool. More cold work. Grab a chisel. Which one? This one. What do we do with it? Make a mark right in here. Oh, okay. Where the top should be. I'll hold them. Just one at a time. Oh, yeah. They're all spacing. Okay, you ready? Perfect. Hold on, let me line them up. Great. Oh. Let up on it and then ease back in. Went through it. Awesome. You ever drilled a hole before? No, this is my first time. Okay. Yeah, cheap new bit will make a couple of holes. <laughs> there you go. Tap it off on the bottom of it and let's look at it. Show it up here to the camera. Boom. First time ever using a drill press? Or a forging something. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That's now cool. you got to do is cut it off where you think it needs to end. So you can nail it to the wall with the screws you selected. Yay! Yep. 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 Oh. <laughs> 
Perfect. Awesome. Ready? Cut it. Got it. <laughs> it hit the tripod. Cut it. Yeah, I did. Bend yeah. it straight. Well, I don't know how much to bend it. So it's flat with what's in the vise. There you go. I should do Walk it. Walk it back down a little bit. The vise jaws. That's your plane you need to line up squarely with 90 degrees. There you go. I think I did it. Boom. <laughs> Here's your first hook. <laughs> Not bad for my first try. They match up good too. Well, that's all we got for this evening. I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> as much as we both did. I hope you gleaned something from this. Till next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>